welcome, welcome, welcome back to a new series. It might be an ongoing series, but this is the first one I'm recording. So I'm going to set the scene, right? So this is a draft league. Essentially, a, I'm going to go over all my old teams in draft league. This is the first season that I was in a draft league. It's AA season four. So the server's AA, season is four. I start on the fourth season. I don't know if this is going to be the first video or the fourth video because I've also done a draft league's season one through three on a different server. So I don't know how this is going to go, but I'm going to explain that this was my first season and I'm going to show you all the mistakes and all the things that I know now that I could have done then. So this season was before um, before Terra's. So this is before Scarlet and Violet. Um, there were Z moves in this game. There's no Gigantamax or Dynamax. So as you can see here in the red, you can see my team and what it was. So we were, our restricted Pokemon was forced to be a Mega. So you had a guaranteed Mega. And then you had everything else. So I'm going to go through everything here and show you what I did and didn't do. So, firstly, Mega Gengar is my first pick. Uh, it is it was very good. Mega Gengar is so, so good. And I was able to keep Shadow Tag. So I was able to keep Shadow Tag on this thing, um, which was banned in the server, but... It didn't really help me because I didn't know how to use it again. I was new to doubles. I didn't know how anything worked. So I didn't know how to use Arena Trap effectively. So that was my first mistake. I almost never put Protect on this thing. I almost always put like Energy Ball or something like that. I should have had Protect here. Um, I should have had Protect here. What I'm going to do, I'm going to actually change this. Because I want to be able to capture the cursor. Okay, it still doesn't capture the cursor. That's fine. Um, okay. Anything? No, it doesn't capture the cursor. That's fine. That's whatever. I'll click on things if you guys need. My tier one was Cinderace. And if you know anything about Cinderace in recent metas, is Cinderace is now not very good. It's not very good because Libro has been nerfed. It's not a very good ability. It is okay. So what it... What it does now is every time you switch it in the battle, it gets one turn, like it uses a move, and it will become the type of that move, the first move it used, and it will remain that type. So if I came in, used Gunk Shot, I would turn to a Poison type, and then no matter what I used after that, I would still be a Poison type. Well, it worked very, very differently in this league because that was pre-Libro nerf. So what Libro did now, or what Libro did back then, was every time you used a move, it was stab. So I would click acrobatics, it'd be, it'd be flying. Next turn I click high jump kick, it'd be fighting. So it's a very, very good Pokemon. Um, I did end up using this thing a lot. Um, it was very, very good when I used it. I used a lot of funky sets. Um, this was kind of my regular. Um, I sometimes ran a wide lens over life orb. Um, one time I ran special with Scorching Sands and Electro Ball. Sometimes I had U-Turn on there. It was just, it was just a pretty offensive threat here, is what Cinderace was. Cinderace is very, very good on this team. Um, Dragonite, I didn't know how to use Dragonite. Again, this is pre-Terra, so no Terras, no Terra normal E-Speed, nothing like that. I also didn't use e-speed. I didn't know what it did. I didn't use it very well. Um, I did use multi-scale Dragon Dance, but you know, then again, I you know had some struggles with it. I didn't. I didn't use it to its best ability. I usually just slapped weakness policy on it, hope for the best. I read some punches on it, Thunder Punch, Fire Punch, things like that. But other than that, I didn't use. It. I did not use it very well. Klefki, I also didn't use very well. This was my main set for Klefki. I really didn't know when to use screens or why to use screens. or I never had good switch-ins for it. I never really knew what it did. This is kind of the set that it had. I didn't win very much with it. It wasn't very good. 
one of the Pokemon I did do very well with was Sharpedo. So this thing is Speed Boost, Focus Sash. So what I would do is I'd protect first turn, get the Speed Boost, then I'd hit like a truck, whatever's on the other side of the field, with like a Liquidation, take it out, something would hit me, bring me down to Sash, I'd get another Speed Boost, I'd protect, I'd get another Speed Boost. I, this thing could get out of control really, really fast. This one was one that I actually used really, really well. Um, again, before Terrors or anything, so very, very... Very good Pokemon. I really liked it a lot. Um, yeah. Um, Duraludon. This was, again, pre-Gen 9. So even before Archaladon. So Duraludon was all I had. It's not very offensive. It wasn't very defensive. Um, but it was a... It was a special attacker that got body press. Which was kind of good. It also got Stalwart which is okay. Um, yeah, it just... It's just okay. It was, a, it was a decent Pokemon. I didn't run into a lot of Follow Me or anything, so nothing really... Star Wars really didn't do me any good. Um, I don't know that you can use this thing a lot different than I did, but that's... Uh, that's, that's... It is what it is. One of my favorites on this team was Archeops. I ran Archeops a lot of different ways. This is definitely one of the ways that I ran it. Choice Band, Rock Slide, Dual Wing Beat, Earthquake, Knock Off. Um, a lot of times I ran Citrus Berry. Citrus Berry gets it out of Defiant or Defeatist range a lot of the times. Um, I know in one of my battles I used Special Archeops with Heat Wave. Um, Heat Wave Air Slash that did me really well. There was one battle in particular I used Focus Ash, um, Archeops, and usually you'd be like, wait, what Focus Ash on De Defeatist? And what Focus Ash was supposed to do, it was supposed to be Tailwind, Rock Slide, and the Rock Slides would get the flinches. And so I'd be faster and I'd be able to get some flinches and do some damage. So, yeah, it actually did me really well. This is one of the Pokemon that I always look for. Um... I always look what tier it's in because I, I always want it back. It's one of the Pokemon that I, I'll i pick up eventually. It'll, it'll fit on one of my teams eventually. Um, this thing gets a lot of really, really good moves. Dragon Claws, stuff like that. It gets, you know, like I said, Heat Wave. It gets some interesting stuff. You could run Meteor Beam now, Meteor Beam. Um, I don't think it had it back then. Um, I ran U-Turn a decent amount. I never ran Taunt because I really didn't know how it worked. This is the big one. Ally Switch. Ally Switch for redirection on a Pokemon like this is so, so good. Tailwind Ally Switch. I think that ended up winning me a match at the very end, but I really didn't know what I was doing either, so it was more just trial and error at that point. Um, but yeah, Head Smash as well. I would never ran it, but it would have been it would have been a lot of fun. So... Yeah. I love Archeops. Hariyama. Didn't know how to use. Um, I always put Flame Orb on it because it has guts. Um, yeah. I really didn't do... I really didn't know how to use this thing. I still really don't know how to use this thing. I mean, it's not... I, look at its stats. Like... It's a little bit pitiful down here, you know? Um, like, these are okay. 144 HP is good. 120 is good. But everything else is kind of lackluster. makes it very, very squishy. It's not frail, but it is squishy. Oh, one of the Pokemon that you're going to see a lot on this list is Sock here. Sock's one of my favorites. Um... We ran this thing, Salic Berry Sturdy. A lot of times we would do something like this. We would minus in our defenses and put zero for IVs to lower our defenses just to make sure we got down into Salic Berry Sturdy range just so we could do some, some clean KOs with that 125 attack stat. That ended up working a lot and it was very, very good. It was very, very fun. I absolutely love Sock. 
This is one of my favorite Pokemon. Much like Archaeops, I absolutely love Sog. Very, very fun Pokemon. And I've used it a lot. So I, this is one that I know how to use and I feel very comfortable in using. Um, Agron, again, one of those Pokemon I didn't know how to use. I think I could play it better now. I really didn't know how frail it was on the special side. It's very slow. Um, I never used body press, and I'm pretty sure it got it at that point, so I don't know what I was doing. I never ran protect on this thing. It was kind of just a bad Pokemon. I did not use it very well. Um, it was bulky, you know, pretty bulky on the defenses, like, is alright. I didn't know how to use it, but I didn't have Mega either. It couldn't Mega, much like Sharpedo couldn't Mega either, because you only get one Mega, uh, because there's so many people in the league. Um, one that I actually like and I've, I've used since then is Dedenne. Dedenne with Nuzzle is awesome. Um, speed control is great. Thunderbolt Dazzling Gleam is very good coverage. Um, I also ran Grass Knot, specifically for some water types. Like, um, I ran Grass Knot on it for Mega Water Ground. Mega Swamper for a rain team. Um, I really didn't use anything else. I didn't use Light Screen a lot. I probably should have. No Thunder Waves. I mean, Nuzzle's pretty good. I never use U-Turn. I never use Ally Switch. These are all moves that I should have been using. Electro Web probably would have been very, very good. Helping Hand, again, very, very good. Um, these are all moves that I just, I should have taken advantage of, but I just didn't know at the time. So, yeah. Um, I said Jinx here. Jinx was terrible on my team. I don't know how to use it. I still don't know how to use it. I don't like using it. It's kind of very bad. Um, it had Fake Out, which is decent. It had Dry Skin, which is okay. But I mean, after that, its special attack sets decent, speed's decent, but I just couldn't get anything off with it. It's probably more of a case that I just, you know, played badly with it because, again, I didn't know what I was doing. But I'm sure there's so much more on here that I could have taken advantage of, and I just, I just didn't know. Lovely Kiss probably would have been a very, very good one. Parasong, maybe. Um, teleport, and not, again, probably another very, very good one. Ally Switch, again, there was so much redirection on my team, and I just didn't use it. Helping Hand would have been awesome. You know, like, there's just not enough here. There was just not enough of me being smart. I wasn't smart enough to figure it out at the time. And this was my biggest learning curve. This team I learned a lot with because I lost a lot. I did not do very well. Uh, again, I mean, if you look at it, some of my best Pokemon, so the Pokemon that I think I did the best with, Archaeops, Sock, Dedenne, very low tiers, Sharpedo, again, like, you know, all these Pokemon I didn't do very well with. They weren't taking KOs all the time like they needed to, like a tier 1 or a tier 0 needs to. They just weren't taking those KOs. Um, so, yeah, I, I really struggled a lot in the first league. Um, the team after this, so what ends up happening, so after this point in time, this is the first draft league I've ever joined. After this point in time, I messaged my good buddy, The Glaceon, which you'll probably hear from um, in a video after this. And I messaged him and I said, hey, do you want to join this together? Like, I know we do some co-op stuff every now and then, but, you know, you're semi-competitive, I'm semi-competitive. And I'm going to be honest, I need some help. I'm not doing this whole thing very, very good. So we drew out a team for another league another round and we ran with it 
and I will tell you how that goes on the next evaluation. I don't know what I'm going to call these yet, um, but it's essentially just a team recap. So, um, yeah, I'm going to leave it off here. Don't know when this is going to be in the in the lineup, but I'm going to leave it off here. So, thank you guys so much for watching. If you like the video, leave a like, comment, subscribe. Do everything the YouTubers tell you to do. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.